Alongside the information we can calculate on cash flow from our general ledger, purchases, sales, and so on, we're also able to make use of manual revenues and expenses with this data. We can introduce these revenues and expenses for a set time period and then make use of them in calculating our cash flow. Let's have a look at setting up a manual expense. We'll use the search for page and search for our relevant page, which is cash flow manual expenses. And that opens our cash flow manual expenses page. On this page, we can enter a new entry just by using new up top here. For this demonstration, we'll make use of salaries, but we can use a number of different types like interest on credit or investments we have planned for the future. We can enter an amount. At 50,000. And for our date, we enter 27th of January 2022. This is what we'll be using for this particular demo database as it handles dates within 2022. Um, it's important to note that the date that we enter here will be used in the cash flow entries that are created from this manual expense. After specifying the date and our amount and description, we can move on to recurrence. In recurrence, we specify an option that will be used as a length of time between each manual expense line that's registered. Our options available are daily, weekly, monthly, quarterly, and yearly, as well as blank. If we enter monthly here, we can get Business Central to register this line every month. Finally, we have our end by, which we can use to specify the final date that the manual expense should be registered. It's just a simple case of entering a relevant date here. Cash flow manual revenues are set up in a very similar way to what we've done here, making use of the same fields, but of course for revenue.